Hope you enjoy that little magic trick. Hey guys, welcome back to the Azikark channel, it's great to see you again. If you've been keeping an eye on home mining, you're gonna love what I've got today. Let me introduce the newest member of the Avalon Home series to you, the Avalon Q. This powerhouse is loaded with 160 advanced 4 nanometer process computing chips, runs on 800 to 1600 watts, and delivers 90 tera hashes per second of hash rate, all from the comfort of your home. It's built for continuous stable performance, so you can mine Bitcoin without worrying about interruptions. What makes it even better? With the Avalon Family app, you can manage it remotely, anytime, anywhere. Whether you're at home or on the go, you're always in control. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive in and check out the Avalon Q. Let's check out everything that comes with the Avalon Q Miner. First up, here's the user manual. Next, we've got the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi receiver module. Just plug it in and you're online. It also comes with four anti-slip foot pads to keep your setup stable. Here's the power cable, let's take a look. It supports 16 amps at 250 volts, perfect for this machine's needs. And finally, at the bottom, there's a F2 pool mining card. Just scratch off the QR code, scan it, and you're ready to connect and start mining. All right, let's take a closer look at the machine's details. This is the largest model in the Avalon Home series, and I'm going to measure it for you. It's 13 centimeters wide, which is relatively slim. The height is about 44 centimeters, roughly the same as a standard PC tower. The length is around 45.5 centimeters, almost equal to the height. So from the side, it looks like a big square box. On the front, we've got the air inlet and there's also a removable dust filter. Let me show you, it comes off easily, so if it gets dusty, you can just wash it. Super convenient. There are two fans here in the front to keep the machine cool and stable. The front panel design is really minimal and doesn't take up much space. This is the button to turn the screen on and off, not the power button for the machine. The machine's power button is at the back. The reset button and in the center, a screen that displays the IP address and working status once the miner boots up. Personally, I think it would be even better if this screen was a little bigger. Here's the USB interface and that's where we plug in the Wi-Fi receiver. If you prefer, you can also use a wired connection with the LAN port, totally your choice. Now, let's take a look at the back of the miner. Down here, you'll find two more fans, so there are four fans total for cooling. Even with that, the miner stays surprisingly quiet. There's the power switch, and right below is the power port. There's also a small label here, let's take a closer look. This miner supports 110 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, and can draw up to 20 amps. That means it's pretty much globally compatible. Its maximum power consumption is 1800 watts. Yes, it draws power, but it performs. About the hash rate, when operating in high power mode, the miner delivers a hash rate of 90 terahashes per second, plus or minus 5%, with a maximum of 94.5. As for noise, it ranges from 45 to 65 decibels, as quiet as a fan or as loud as a conversation. So overall, this is a powerful performance-driven machine, perfect for users with stable power and space. All right, now it's time for the part everyone's been waiting for, powering on the Avalon Q. First, plug in the power cord and connect the Wi-Fi module. Hit the power switch. Now, the indicator light is on and the miner is starting up. Now let's connect the miner. If you've used the Nano 3 or Mini 3, this will feel very familiar. 
Open your Avalon Family app, no registration needed. Just tap the Add New Device button at the top right, search for devices. Boom, there it is, tap to connect. Now enter your Wi-Fi password, and remember, your phone and the miner must be on the same network for remote control to work. Awesome, we're in. The miner appears on the dashboard. Right now, the miner is in eco mode and showing zero hash rate. That's normal since it was just connected. The hash rate will go up soon. While we wait, let's check out the other settings. The timer setting lets you schedule automatic startup and shutdown. Super useful if you want to mine during off-peak electricity hours to save on your bill. Under settings, you can change the password. The initial password is admin, and it's up to you whether to change it or not. At pool config section, I have already connected the F2 pool. It even enables solo mining, though for a 90T machine, pool mining makes more sense. Okay, let's save it. Enter the password, just admin. When the restart message pops up, just click continue. Great, the mining pool is connected. Wow, at the same time, the hash rate also goes up. It is 48.44 Tira hash per second now. Awesome, so it is mining now, let it run for a time, we go back again. You'll also see options for filter clear, which is recommended at 90%. Warranty info, sync time, support and alarm record are also here. All right, the check is almost done and the miner has run for a while. Let's test its performance under different modes. You can also check the machine status directly on the front screen. See, in eco mode, the hash rate is around 48.42 tera hashes per second and the power is just 750 watts. The actual power usage is about 760 watts, just a 10 watts difference from what the screen shows. I've taped a regular napkin to the air outlet to test airflow. In eco mode, it flutters gently, nothing too crazy. Noise levels stay around 44 decibels. Its temperature reads about 52 degrees Celsius. And some spots are even cooler at 48 or 49 degrees Celsius. Now it's in standard mode. This is the result after we waited for a while. Wow, amazing! Hash rate climbs to 79.87 terahashes per second, and power jumps to 1352 watts. Actual power reads 1376 watts, about 24 watts off the display reading. The napkin's moving more aggressively, and noise hits around 48 decibels. Temperatures rise above 58 to 60 degrees Celsius, while the exterior remains stable around 40 degrees Celsius. Here is the super mode. Just like before, the hash rate of 93.19 tera hash per second is the result after waiting for a bit. Hash rate peaks at a massive 93 tera hashes per second with power pulling 1679 watts. Power draw is 1700 watts, about a 20 watts difference from the app reading. Airflow is intense, the napkin's almost flying off. Noise goes up to around 53 decibels and temperature rises above 60 degrees Celsius. I even had to step back from the airflow, it's like a mini heater. The surface temperature also rose to 41 to 42 degrees. We made a comparison chart for the three modes, check it out for quick reference. We use the app to connect the pool, but you can also use a PC, just make sure it's on the same Wi-Fi as the miner. Go to 192.168.8.101, log in with admin, and you're in. Now we're in the web dashboard. It's pretty simple, mostly for pool setup and system reboot. If typing on your phone is a hassle, just copy-paste your mining pool info here. You'll see live status like mode, power, hash rate, and reject rate. But switching modes still needs to be done in the app. Now let's switch over to F2 pool to check real-time mining performance. In eco mode, the 15-minute average hash rate is 49.26 terahashes per second. And the 24-hour average is 14.46 terahashes per second. That's expected. It's only been running for two hours. So the average is still rising and will stabilize soon. 
Right below, only Miner 001 is active since Pool 1 is connected. If it drops, the system auto-switches to backup pools. The Avalon Q is a professional home mining machine. Whether you're a beginner, a professional player with limited space, or just want passive income, Avalon Q brings mining closer to you. It is smart, quiet, and compact. With a minimum noise level of 45 decibels, you'll hardly notice its presence. The overall size is similar to a computer case, making it inconspicuous wherever you place it. Supports both LAN and Wi-Fi connections and can be easily controlled with the Avalon Family app. Home is where people start. Home is also where all programs originate. Avalon Home Series is more closely related to households. It not only meet the actual household life needs, but also can experience the blockchain network and get corresponding rewards easily. Okay, thanks so much for watching this video. This is 8 Sikark. In every venture, we grow together. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! Don't forget to follow, like, and bookmark our YouTube channel. Join our Telegram channel for real-time updates and discover more at azicarc.com to enjoy exclusive discounts and special prices.